Hey, welcome back in this new video where I will introduce Tika, uh, which is a library that can allow you to extract the content of over thousands of different types of file. Um, this is a very interesting library which is uh, very relevant when it comes to extracting the content of files. So without further ado, um, I will start with uh, the prerequisites of Tika. First of all, you need to install using um, the pip install Tika um, instruction. I already installed this. This is the reason why I commented this line. So in your case, you will need to uncomment this line and run this um, cell so that you can um, install it. And then after you install, you import a library. So from here from Tika, you import the parser. So I named the parser as p so that i can instead of write you know, writing parser all the time i will only write p and then you import request that will be used uh, from our side in order to make request because in this tutorial we will be requesting files from internet this is the reason why we write request and finally you import tika for another um, another task so like i um from here what we do we have different ways to access files so we have the first way where we can access the file from internet and also the second one which is about accessing the file from local destination um, let's say you have your file in a given uh, folder then you can access your file from this file uh, from this folder um, to focus on the first type so when you want to get the content um, for the first case scenario you only what you have to do is to make the request so get the request using the URL of the file you want to extract the content from then we have we will store that response result into a variable called response and from that response, what we do is to call on parser that from buffer. So what we do here from buffer function is going to get the response content so that we can use um, uh, you can use all the analysis. And um, after this first case, we have the second one, which access the data from a specific destination so what this is very straightforward the only thing we have to do is to give the path to the file you want to get information from then here you have you, you have the instruction the parser that from file meaning that we only use two main functions from buffer and from file so what i do here um, is to once we have uh, we understand how to access those information what we do is what i did here is to implement um, two helper functions so that i can um, get the content of the file depending on the type here for instance this is the function that gets um, the, the the content of the file using the url and here is the one that extract the content for a given path then here comes um, the first case um, extracting the content of a pdf file here is the url of my pdf file and what i do here is to give the url using my get data from web function as uh, implemented here and what we have here um, in terms of content are the results the results that we get is a dictionary and that dictionary has three main keys. The first key is metadata. The second key is the content. And the third and last key is the status. So the status represents the, as the name um, can, we can understand by the name, which this gives the status of how we request. A 20 means that everything went okay. If we had, for instance, um, 404, which might mean that we made a bad request meaning the file does not exist so let's say that we want to get the content the real content of the file then we use the content key which um, gets the content of the file as here we have 
the content of the file I get the request about. So here's the content. And then we can have all the metadata information. So from the metadata, what we have, we have different information that we can have. Let's say the author information about the author, the company, and the content type of the file, the creation date of the file, and the last modified date of the file, and so on. We have a bunch of information that we can have about the file here. And here is uh, an example where we try to get the content of the file from a local destination. In this specific case, I have in my data for folder a file named passenger disclosure and attestation. So from this file, what I have to do is to provide the path to this file and then call my get data from given path function and from here i can immediately call the results content file and then here is the content using all the tika i have um though those uh, like these two ways of collecting the information here is another one um for this case we can um use also Tika to collect the content of a docs file. This doc is a Word document. And here's the content. I mean, the, the process is really straightforward. I'm using the functions I implemented. And also you can use, um, you can collect also the data of, um, of from an image, image file here. So here's a URL. And then what we do is to get the data from web uh, so you can have the content and also you can have um, use instead of giving a pdf um doc file you can also provide the link to a web page here for instance is the link to uh, the wikipedia page of ivory coast and from here i can collect also the data as you can see we only used one library to collect the data from different type of files and here's everything um I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and you also find the link to the resources and the whole uh, source code from my GitHub. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye.